Hey guys, if you're watching this video on the day of the upload, uh, this has actually been filmed the day previously uh, and exactly seven weeks ago was the day that I started working on this workshop behind me inside this shed. Uh, so in, during this video I actually refer to timelines uh, every so often but just ignore them because this was filmed so long ago and I also didn't have my microphone so I really apologise if there's really bad echo especially inside an empty shed. So uh, nevertheless, let's get on with the video. So I've measured up all the dimensions of the shed. Uh, I've written them all down here so I can go out and buy some insulation and I'm gonna get some white boards to put on the walls to make them look a bit better. So let's go shopping. It's been about seven weeks now since I started working on the workshop and the last three to four weeks have just been like watching paint dry so I haven't been videoing much uh, but I think the painting's pretty much done now uh, you see all the way around ignore the part by the door I'll finish it off at some other time but um, no it's looking really good uh, I took the lights down I redid the roof because the roof wasn't white and uh, just got to put up the the wires tied up the wires a bit and then we'll get some flooring in Fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. 
I've put down a plastic sheet underneath this MDF uh, just to keep you know moisture out and whatever. Uh, then I've put some MDF board down to make sure that the floor is completely flat. Uh, don't want to have too many bumps uh, in the flooring. And then I'll be putting down these uh, black plastic sticky back um, tiles to finish off the flooring. I've uh, give it, given it one last sweep and one last hoover so there's no dirt underneath and I've even taken my shoes off. So uh, yeah, let's get sticking. So exactly seven weeks ago today was the day that I started turning this standard shed into a pretty decent workshop. It's uh, fully insulated, uh, well lit, which is going to be excellent for the new videos. Uh, it's got a really nice workbench, which I owe a massive thank you to my granddad and also my cousin Lewis for helping me with that. Um, that was an amazing job. Uh, I'm sorry if the video angles probably weren't that great during that period. Um, but having three of us, plus putting up this massive bench, a tripod on the camera, it was a bit difficult to squeeze everyone in. So uh, yeah, it probably wasn't that great. I haven't looked at the footage yet. Uh, but no, the whole thing's gone together really well. And uh, I kind of guess this is a good excuse for not making videos for a while, right? You guys are probably subscribed to me for, I don't know how many weeks ago it was I made my last video. But uh, this is the answer to where I've been. And it's definitely the answer to what's to come, I guess. There's uh, gonna be a lot of future videos. Um, oh yeah, and this part of the bench, you may be wondering, Tom, why have you got a funny angular piece sticking out and a big square patch? Well, I've ordered a new piece of machinery, uh, which I'm waiting to arrive, and I cannot tell you what it is just yet, but you'll find out in a few videos time. So uh, yeah, thank you for sticking with me and uh, not unsubscribing. And I hope if you're new to my channel, then obviously click subscribe. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like. Uh, don't ask me too many DIY questions because this is my first DIY job and it's a bit, you know, here and there. Uh, it, was, it was a great learning curve. But, um, yeah. Stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you in the next one. I'm not actually sweeping, I just had to make an outro and I had a broom, so I don't know, it's all part of the act. See you next time. <laughs>